Bill spoke very highly of both players, he really likes both players, stated Flames general manager Brad Treliving at the conclusion of the NHL draft. But I think you have to be careful, we've got scouts that go and watch the games and they're paid for one thing and coaches are paid for another. But, obviously, we talked to Bill. It was a great resource to have, trade grades, Carolina's new regime makes big splash, acquiring Dougie Hamilton while Treliving was clear on that part of the trade, he seemed to hold back on other particulars as to why the Flames made this deal. More than once he referenced chemistry and wanting players who desired to play in Calgary, stressing that both Hannafin and Lindholm are excited about the trade. Part of what we look at with this is making sure we got good chemistry and a good mix in our dressing room, said Tra Living. The Flames GM told reporters that the club was concerned about whether it could sign Fox, the Harvard product they selected in the third round of the 2016 draft. He did not have much to say about Hamilton, the talented 25-year-old blue liner who now has been traded twice in his career, but did praise Ferland, who had a career-high 21 goals last season, for being a warrior. However, with Ferland becoming a UFA in 2019, the Flames sought cost certainty in acquiring Lindholm and Hannifin, both of whom are restricted free agents this summer. Living added that he was in contact already with representatives for both newcomers and expects little difficulty in signing each. Term and money, other than that, no issues, Living joked about those pending negotiations. Eric Carlson, Phil Kessel top list of possible players on the move Don Waddell, Treliving's counterpart with the Hurricanes, said he had no issues at all, no red flags at all, about Hamilton. He added that the entire front office supported this trade in unanimous fashion. Carolina parted with a pair of former fifth overall selections in Lindholm 2013 and Hannafin 2015. The former is a versatile forward who can play either center or on the wing and scored 45 and 44 points the past two years. The latter is a 21-year-old defenseman with intriguing upside who established career highs with 10 goals and 32 points last season. They're good kids, hungry, neither has ever been in the playoffs, noted Peters on Saturday. I think they had good years last year. It's hard to have individual success when you don't have collective success, obviously, in a team sport, so I think there's a huge upside and another level to get to for both guys. Peters plans to give Lindholm a chance to play alongside Johnny Gaudreau and Sean Monaghan on the Flames' top line next season. He also envisions Hannifin pairing with veteran Travis Hamannick on defense. I like his size, I like his ability to skate, in today's game he can skate, he can transport the puck, play both sides on special teams, and he's a young guy, Treliving said of Hannifin. In doing the homework on Noah, I love the drive. He wants to be a really top player. He's prepared to put in the work to be a really, really top player. It seems clear that both general managers saw the need to shake up the mix on their respective teams, neither of which made the playoffs last season. Waddell said he expects to make another trade in the coming weeks, saying there's been lots of talk on Jeff Skinner, the three-time 30-goal scorer who is a UFA in 2019. If he strikes a trade for Skinner, that would be three big pieces dealt away for a team with a new owner, coach, GM and outlook for the coming season. Entry Living finished with this failed shot. We got two good players that both are excited to be here. We think we know our team, the inner workings of our team, and we think this fits for us.